In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful, may peace, mercy and blessings of Allah the Almighty be upon all of you. I am Umar ibn Abid and in this lecture we are going to look at the physical adaptation source of language. This is also one of the influential source of the origins of language. And as the name suggests, uh, the physical adaptation source means that we are going to look at the physical structure, the physical posture and especially the vocal tract of human beings as compared to other animals. So in last lectures we were looking at human speech sounds and how they differ from other human beings and how uh, they tried to imitate the sounds of creatures around them or they tried to produce some sounds and some words with the tools or maybe uh, with communication or with sounds such as exclamation or happiness and such sounds but now we are going to look at the physical adaptation source that is we are going to look at physical features human possess especially those which are different from other living beings and as we know we are different from other living beings even from other mammals uh, not in our sexual reproductive system but in our vocal tract especially which make us different and which make us able to produce speech so the change between human and other primates could be observed when we found the fossils of a nandersal and of a gorilla uh, almost 35,000 years ago. You know, uh, Neanderthal uh, is considered to be the, uh, to be the Homo sapien uh, and actually the evolutionary uh, Homo sapien. It is considered to be, it is even, this is not, you can say, proved by facts. Because, you know, uh, Darwin theory is just a theory. It's, it is not a law. But by the fossils, uh, it is uh, come to know that even these Neanderthal have similar structure like today we human beings have. So these distinctions suggest that Neanderthals possessed such physical features which could be able to produce some consonant like sounds as we are producing consonants like B, Kh, Th, M. On the other hand, primates streamlined versions of features were not appropriate to produce such sounds. You know, uh, the pharynx, as we will look in some pictures uh, in other slides, that they have different pharynx and larynx position due to which they cannot produce such sounds. So now we are going to look at qualities of human teeth, lips, mouth, larynx and pharynx, which makes us different from other creatures. So human teeth. Uh, human teeth are upright, non-slanting, unlike apes. Uh, if you uh, see we human beings, our uh, teeth are like this, just like you can say at 90 degree. On the other hand, if you look at monkeys on, uh, and gorillas, so uh, their teeth are you can say uh, it doesn't mean uh, these are uh, they, their teeth are also right but they are just outside uh, and they are just coming outside uh, of their mouth so uh, you can see that when they open their mouth so their teeth are just at you can say 60 or 70 degree angle and they are, uh, our teeth are roughly even in height as compared to apes uh, moreover useful for producing sound like f and v you know when you produce f so your upper teeth touch on your lower lip and when you produce v uh, once again your upper teeth will touch on your lower lip so these are also uh, not good for ripping and tearing but rather better for chewing and grinding unlike uh, other primates uh, their teeth are for ripping and tearing on the other hand, our teeth are for chewing and grinding. So now uh, if I show you human teeth. So these are the human teeth. So you can uh, see the difference uh, uh, upright and what I was saying that actually at 90 degree. On the other hand, uh, because th this is just a 3D picture and uh, uh, these 
these are not of a gorilla or monkey because uh, gorilla and monkey they only eat fruits and vegetables so all of that all the teeth of uh, gorillas monkeys and such primates are in this way only in uh, you can we can say uh, we say uh, these teeth as scissors they all have scissor teeth uh, they don't have such teeth and now uh, if uh, you consider this this to be the teeth of you can say lion so even uh, then you can see that all these are pointing teeth there is no one uh, a teeth like us which are scissors but we on the other hand we have both these teeth which are called canines and scissors on the other hand animals all the animals I, uh, some of them only have uh, such teeth or uh, in canine form in pointing teeth on the other hand uh, like monkeys and gorillas uh, all of them have only scissors they don't have canines so uh, uh, this is this structure also help us to eat vegetables as well as meat as, uh, also both things we can eat both things but on the other hand animals some animals only could eat meat and such like things on the other hand there are some animals like monkeys and gorillas they can only eat fruits and vegetables because their uh, teeth are not adapted and are not shaped in this way so this uh, this is the benefit we also have on the other anim on the other creatures and uh, this is this could also be uh, if uh, frankly speaking i could say that uh, there, there is a discussion between vegetarians uh, on the other hand there are uh, some people who prefer meat and then there is a discussion there is a debate so why we have teeth of both kinds if we should uh, if we have to be vegetarians so why uh, we have provided both the scissors and bo uh, canines we should have teeth like this or we should have teeth like monkeys or gorillas if we should be only vegetarians and if we uh, should only be persons uh, or only be creatures who eat meat so uh, the uh, uh, god has given uh, us both types of teeth we have provided both types of teeth so we can eat vegetables as well as meat so this is just uh, another thing uh, now if we uh, look at human lips even uh, intricate muscle interlacing that is uh, our leaf uh, our lips can move in certain directions quite easily because they are more flexible uh, and they are more intricate and complex sounds could be produced like p b m w when you produce p b m so your lips are meet upper and lower lip and when you produce w sound w w like water so your teeth t uh, your lips become rounded and from the edges our lips meet with each other now human mouth our mouth is small as compared to other primates you could say that a gorilla or a monkey have very big mouth uh, especially gorilla on the other hand our mouth would be just like this or you can say just like this in size so uh, what we have a benefit that our mouth can be closed and can be opened rapidly very quickly as compared to other primates so this is the benefit on the other hand our tongue our tongue is also small as compared to other primates and it is more muscular which help us to adapt different shapes and produce different types of sound so you could see that uh, you can move your tongue in different position if you just keep uh, and just get out your tongue from your mouth even sometimes we try to touch uh, nose with our uh, uh, with our tongue so we do such things uh, and it is more muscular uh, you can see as compared to other animals on the other hand now we could look at human air passage uh, pharynx larynx even esophagus and other things so unlike other animals we can close of airway through nose uh, this is a very important thing for example when uh, we produce sound like m n so what we do we uh, close of airway through the nose and our sound is coming out through the nose for example if i say 
my name is umar ibn abid so now what i am doing i am um, you can say i am closing the air passage from my mouth and i am uh, producing sound from my uh, nose for example i i am so in this way um, so it creates uh, pr pressure and we can produce a, uh, sounds like m n and uh, so for uh, these sounds are very much uh, available in arabic uh, those who read uh, quran or those who know arabic they know that in uh, arabic there are many many sounds which are nasalized sounds and we will look uh, these terms in phonetics and phonology so the overall small differences and more flexible muscles give us a perfect shape to produce a unique speech which other creatures are unable to produce now uh, look at human larynx so larynx which is also called the voice box of human beings and it has two vocal folds and uh, actually these uh, vocal folds are always remain very close to each other and the when the air pushes through them uh, and the where when the air coming out of them so either uh, the distance decrease or increase so, and they vibrate very very quickly so it differs in position from animals like monkeys and gorillas our larynx is a bit lower and i am uh, showing you the picture as well so our head directly move above the spinal cord so we have structure like this and our uh, pharynx and our mouth is just above our spinal cord on the other hand if we uh, look at uh, gorillas and monkeys so their mouth is in this way and their spinal cord is coming in this way so we also have benefit in this way so this is of gorilla or such animals and this is of human beings so the upright posture drop larynx to a lower position sorry lower position where in animals its position is above um, before we going to look at the picture let's look at pharynx as well so what is pharynx the area inside the throat above the larynx is called pharynx so now just look at picture so you can see this is the pharynx and uh, this is the larynx so this part is larynx and this part is pharynx so you can say pharynx is also the part of esophagus esophagus uh, is the part uh, from where our food uh, go into our stomach so for uh, uh, what uh, what happens so when we are eating and the food goes uh, here in esophagus so this thing this part is closed uh, which is called epiglottis so epiglottis close the path of larynx so when we swallow the food the larynx become closed larynx closed uh, by epiglottis when we swallow the food and when we uh, so this is the main thing and uh, in this case animals have a little bit edge over us so for example because uh, the larynx and pharynx of uh, animals uh, has not such distance which we have so you can see we have uh, a sufficient distance between pharynx and larynx so that is why when we are speaking we cannot eat eat we cannot swallow the food when we are swallowing the food at that time if you try to speak so there is a danger uh, that while speaking if you are swallowing the food so your food may stuck in your larynx and which can cause a very uh, dangerous situation on the other hand animals uh, they can eat they can swallow the food and at the same time they can speak as well so this is pharynx and larynx now human oral cavity is longer as i have showed you due to uh, their upright posture and due to lower larynx of uh, lower status of larynx because our larynx is lower in status as compared to other animals uh, animals so we have an edge on other primates uh, that uh, we can produce different types of sound a large range of sounds are produced with clarity while other primates don't have fear of stucking food in their throat while speaking because the distance between their larynx and pharynx is very short 
so here you can see uh, that what I so you can see uh, the spinal cord is coming in this way and this is their mouth while our spinal cord you can say at a 90 degree and we are uh, our posture is upright where uh, as their mouth is coming downwards uh, of gorillas and our mouth is coming uh, straight forward so this also helps us to produce sounds and now uh, so these were some features and I hope uh, you would have understood and you would have some concept that uh, in the physical adaptation source and the physical adaptation source of language could be the influential and it is providing us a very uh, it is providing us very sufficient and very strong evidence that how we started to speak and how we started speaking because we have such features provided uh, by nature that we can produce speech which is very unique as compared to other animals and human beings so i hope you would have understood it so don't forget to give your feedback next lecture will be the tool making source remember in your prayers jazakallah khairan and thank you